Hi, I'm James Schillingla. I'm actually at the ASTA Global Convention. And part of the ASTA Global Convention for the last few years, the Professional Association of Travel Hosts has held its event, a, 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 a sort of mini conference, actually I think more of a think tank it's becoming, uh, uh, to sort of discuss issues of the day. And we did this before the whole ASTA Global Convention started. And I'm with Anita Pagliasso, who's the president of PATH and also vice president uh, at K KH Travel, uh, which is a large host agency, right? Yeah. And we're gonna talk to Anita about what this PATH conference is, which is one of the best I've been to, and I've been to a few of them over the years, and what happened at this conference and what she hopes for the future on Insider Travel Report. So, Anita, first of all, uh, I have to tell you that was a wonderful conference we had uh, just two days ago. Uh, we, we had a lovely evening out with the whole team. I think this is one of the best attended. How many people came? We had 98 attendees this year, which was phenomenal. And it's our 13th year of doing these symposiums. I know, and I've been, I've been coming to these symposiums for a while, and it has become a symposium, a real think tank of events. Uh, now, what, uh, you know, what, was, what was the purpose of PATH? The purpose of PATH originally is to really set standards for host agencies. And 13 years ago, this was just kind of really uh, up and coming, as so to speak. And we wanted to set some standards for the actual host agency um, that has really programs, their background checks, There's they have no other alternative than hosting independent contractors, mentoring programs, training. There's a lot of things that go into it before a member joins the host agency of PATH. Yeah, and so now you're having suppliers attend who are very interested, who, have to, who work with host agencies and work with independent contractors. And so what we did during this thing was almost like a think tank of what the issues are that they have, what the issues have are that the host agencies have. And it's really kind of a coming together of minds, I think. Right? It really, truly is because it's a collaboration and, and we are all fierce competitors out there but we've become better collaborators and we really do want to share ideas. I think the first part of what we had suppliers come in and host agencies come in we have common challenges you know they don't really understand the host model it's amazing because it's been around for a while now this is all thing the host and, and you know as you know uh, uh, I, I created a magazine for for home-based travel advisors and and it really has been it's, it's amazing the evolution and I think most agencies today are hosts some some are pure hosts that are just hosting independent contracts some are hybrids uh, so you got a lot of different models up there that was the big thing one of the things that always comes out of this there are a lot of different models of hosts or, right and a lot of this suppliers didn't understand that and so I think when we do when we do these symposiums we really want to invite the executives that come from the particular suppliers that really can take the ideas back and make changes and what we've seen is so uh, accomplished is that they have made changes and we're adapting too. I mean the whole distribution center uh, system for the suppliers with the BDMs, we're making sure that everybody no matter where the host agency is located, they have the opportunities to go out there and get educated and, and learn about their products. Absolutely, so some of the big issues that we talked about were things like the, you know, sort of esoteric but secondary phone fields to ID, uh, ICs which you know actually that this has been a continuing issue. We talked about how you know travel advisors should best use FAMs uh, and how to you you know you know recognize them and who should get those FAMs, things like that. Right. I think one of the big things that we've come up with is the code of conduct, whether it's a host agency or an agent going on a FAM. Everything needs to start at the top and work down and make sure that the right person is is paired with the right product. No, absolutely, and that's the big thing. Now, uh, what came out of this conference that you, you really liked? I mean, aside from the size, it's, it was a much bigger event, and, and I think you're planning, hopefully, on doing this in, possibly in concert with ASTA next year in Puerto Rico uh, when they're in May. Uh, but what was the biggest thing that came out in your mind? In my mind, it was, I, I've had so many of the new suppliers that were there and new host agencies. They came to us, they said it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough time. And so the think tank part of, part of it, we typically get together with hosts first and we kind of talk about our common 
issues of the day, of the month, of the year, yeah, whatever. You have a private session with hosts, and then you brought in the suppliers and yeah. uh, media like me, right? Exactly. But the interesting that came out of this, the suppliers say, we want that. We want that half day among us suppliers to talk. How do you deal with hosts? What are you doing? So they want their own mini think tank as well. And I think they really like the fact that we did the um, big dinner the night before. Yeah, no, that was that was lovely. We went to Boudin Bakery out in San Francisco. It was a great, great time, and everybody got together. And, and, and really, and then the next day, we hit, hit the, the conferences, and it really was a great event. I'm happy to see how it's evolved over the years. I remember when we were all kind of around, sitting around like a little horseshoe table, uh, which was not the And Yeah, we had a few smattering of suppliers. Mostly the big hosts were there, and you do have a large you know, section of the big hosts are all, all members of PATH, which is great, and you still really serve a vital uh, function here in the industry. So I'm happy that you're, you're and you, you and I have been working with host agencies and independent contractors and writing about them. And for my case, you've been writing about them too for years. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm congratulations on really a great conference. And I think I said it there, my biggest dream is for all of us, regardless what association it is, regardless of what agency is or supplier, that we all work together and we elevate the industry as a whole. Well, I got to tell you, I, I, I mentioned a few people many years ago at what used to be called uh, ICTA, the Institute yes. for Certified Travel Agents, now called the Travel Institute. We used, to, we used to have a national forum, and it was a real think tank of, of ideas. We all sat together, we, uh, and, and you had the best and the brightest of the industry coming in. You've got a, a little of that here, maybe a lot of that here with PATH, so congratulations well, on that. Thank you. I'm very proud, and, and it's, a, it's a collaboration, and it's a team, you know, so we're all in it together, and, and uh, we, we recognize that. So seeing more host agencies come in, seeing more suppliers wanting more, then that's, that makes me very, very happy. Now, uh, anything else you want to say to the ho other host agencies out there who maybe weren't here uh, and also independent contractors? Absolutely. Well, first of all, independent contractors, if they're looking for a great host agency, we kind of put the a good housekeeping seal of approval of all the hosts that are part of PATH. So the website is PATH4, four, number four, host.com, and that's a great resource. And any host agency that has been hosting for a minimum of three years and has at least 50 independent contractors come join us and, and we saw a lot of the new ones that came this year said so why did we wait so long and so they're thrilled to be part of it and we're looking for more members as well absolutely so path for hosts.com right right uh, well, it, it was a great event. I, I'm trying to make it a regular thing. I, I, I've come, come to a few of them over the years. I was there early on when it started, and it really was impressive this year. So I'm looking forward to hopefully come into Puerto Rico a little earlier. Puerto Rico, we just don't know yet whether it's going to be pre or post, but okay. stay tuned. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Anita, great to see you. Thank you. And hopefully we're going to see more, more of Anita on Insider Travel Report soon because she used to write a column uh, for me, and hopefully she's going to write another one soon. So we'll see what happens. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, James. Thanks, everybody. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.